Hello, this lesson is from one of our courses over at Print That Thing, where we help people learn 3D print design. If you haven't already, you can get the free startup file to hack Blender for your 3D printer at ptt.live. Let's get to designing. All right, so hopefully you've got everything installed and welcome to Blender 2.8. This is a brand new UI layout and I want to introduce you to everything that's been updated and you know, try to make it look a little less scary than um, how it may seem. So let's just go ahead and go from kind of left to right and talk about all these little widgets real quick. So up at the top, you have this little icon. You can bring back your splash screen. You can support Blender. Then you have file where you can create new projects. You can save your project. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and save. We can save as, and you'll get this window up here. Um, I'm just gonna do it on desktop. And you can save it anywhere you like. Click over here, you can even bookmark some of your favorite spots. So just click down here where it says untitled.blend and .blend is just the project you know, file extension. So just click on that and then just call it anything. We'll call it, maybe just call it 3D print workflow. And you don't have to do dot blend after it. It will do it automatically for you. So just go ahead and save as. See how it added it right there? And we'll go ahead and save. And you can also import files right here and you can also export your files. But I'm gonna show you a cooler way, a more powerful way to export your designs. And you can also quit. Then you have your edit where you can undo and redo. We have your preferences, which we'll go over in the next video. And you also have your render properties if you want to render out images or animations of your designs. Then we have window where you can alter your uh, windows. And then we have help where you can get the manual, some tutorials, some support, um, lots of different things. And then to the right of that are just different tabs. These are new to Blender. And you can go ahead and just click on all these with me. Uh, we're going to stay in layout 50% of the time. Uh, we also have modeling which is um, also known as edit mode. Notice that there's little points that appeared on everything. And then we can go into sculpting mode, which we will be teaching you how to sculpt in uh, later lessons. And then you have UV editing, you have texture paint, you have shading if you wanna add colors to your designs. We have animation if you wanna make them do things or spin around. We have rendering and compositing and even scripting if you know some Python code. So we're not gonna use a lot of those. We're mainly gonna just use these two. So let's just go back to layout. So go ahead and click on layout. And then to the right of this is scenes. And that's kind of like where you can add kind of like internal projects or different scenes uh, to your project. So we will use this sometimes and I'll show you some, some clever ways that uh, we can use it as 3D print designers. And then you also have your view layers which you can use for kind of some, just seeing different layers in different ways or for advanced rendering. Uh, we're not gonna use that too much, but uh, that's what those are. And then down here, we have the 3D viewport, and this is where we're gonna be spending most of our time. You can move around in here with this little widget. So go ahead and grab that widget and wiggle it around, and we'll go more into, into depth on how to move in some later videos, but go ahead and move that widget around, click around on that. You can also click these buttons here. And then to the left side, you have your tools. So these are all the different tools and we'll go over each one of these in a later video. Uh, you can also hide these by hitting T on your keyboard. So everybody hit T on your keyboard and you should see them disappearing. Um, and it won't work if your mouse is like over here. Like see if I hit T while I'm over here, nothing happens. Your mouse has to be in the active window that you want to affect. So, you know, T will do that. And then at the top of our 3D viewport, we've got our tools. And if you don't see the, these tools here, you may have to go to view, you know, and you know you can toggle on your tool settings if you want. We've also got some different parameters that you can change, you know, how your models are behaving. Um, you know, snapping is right here and proportional editing. You can just leave those turned off like that, kind of grayed out. And then below that we have object mode. And you can switch into different modes like edit mode or sculpt mode here. Uh, but we're just going to stay in object mode right now. And then you have view. So you can, you know, turn on different tools. You can do uh, frame selected. You can frame all, you know, this is kind of a manual way to do things. I'm going to show you all the shortcuts for these. And then you've got select, 
you know, if you want to control the way you can select things, you can add new objects and lights and images and cameras and monkeys. <laughs> you can also, uh, you know, do things to your, your objects with the object tab. And then to the right over here, right here, you've got your object types. So that's going to let you um, say if you don't want to see any cameras like in your scene, like this camera here. You could tell Blender, you know, I don't want to see any cameras. It's still there, but you've kind of told Blender just to hide it. Or you could also say, I don't want to be able to select any cameras. So now, you know, I can't click that camera. So, you know, go ahead and play with some of those, but maybe just leave all these lit up and on. To the right of this, we have our show gizmo. And that's going to give us, we're going to go more into that uh, later, but essentially our gizmo looks something like this. This, this blue, uh, green, and red little gizmo here. So you can control some of the things on that with this. And then to the right of that, we have show overlays. So you can toggle that on and off. See how the grid and the cameras and uh, the outline kind of disappear. You can also use this little drop down beside it and have a lot more, um, you know, control over it. Maybe if you want to see wireframe, we'll go more into that. And then this is your X-ray view button. So if you want to see through objects like Superman, that's what that button does. And then you've got your different types of viewport, whether you want to see in wireframe, solid mode, material preview, or EV live rendering. So that's what all these little buttons up here are. Hopefully that makes them a little less daunting and scary. Um, and then again, we have this widget to move. And there's something kind of hidden here. You can't really see it, but maybe if you click that little... Um, arrow right there. Yours may already be out, but this is your information panel. That's what I call it. And it's going to give you information about whatever you have selected. So we can see since we have the cube selected, so everybody go ahead and click on your cube. You should see that the dimensions are two meters by two meters by two meters. And it's in the zero, you know, it's zeroed out on pretty much everything. And the scale ratio is one. Um, if I click on the camera, notice over here, it may change a little bit. So now we don't have dimensions because we're looking at a camera. So, you know, it's going to give you information about anything you have selected. And then to hide this or bring it back if you can't see it, you want to hit in on the keyboard for in formation. So just go ahead and hit in a few times to kind of get the feel of that. And we're going to be doing that quite often. And we have, that's our item. So that's giving you information about the item. We also have our tool information, which is also up here. You can get your tools, same information here, or you also have the same information here. So essentially three places with the same information. And then you have your view, which is giving you information about your viewport and your 3D cursor, which we'll talk about later. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything in the, the 3D viewport here. Below on the 3D viewport, it's actually a separate um, window because I can grab it, see how here I can, if you put your mouse right on the, the center there, you can slide that up. This is our timeline. And you can change in Blender any window with these little buttons in the top right corners. Like right here, it's a 3D viewport. You know, right here, it is the timeline, but I could also change that, you know, to another 3D viewport if I wanted to. But we'll just keep it there. So go ahead and, you know, change to any of these you want. You know, you can't break it. And then just always, then just reset it back to timeline. But just to show you that you have complete control over your Blender layout and you can make it, you know, exactly how you want it. And then up to the right corner, we have the outliner, which you can see here, outliner. And you can change that to whatever you'd like, but, you know, just keep it as outliner. And this is essentially your layers. Uh, this is where you're going to be able to affect, you know, your cameras or your cubes or your lights if you want to click on things directly. Uh, you can also toggle things on and off. And we also have these new things in Blender called collections. And you can just think of collections as folders. So now we've got a collection. Um, we've got a search bar up here if you need to search for certain things in your project. You know, if you get a lot of layers, you can use that to search. You can use this little guy here. This is a new addition. Notice how we only have eyeballs here. Maybe we want to have some more control over our layers. So we can turn on this filter and toggle on some different modes. So go ahead and click on this little filter icon. It looks like a uh, golf tee almost. And just click on that. And then make sure you have the second one turned blue. 
It's a little selection module. And then maybe this third one from the end that looks like a little digital camera. And then when you click away, notice that we have more little icons here. So we're going to use that a lot. And then in the right up here, we have new collection. So we can always hit that and notice we have a new collection that appeared. And it's actually inside of this collection because we had this selected. But don't worry, you can always just drag that out, you know, and have a separate collection. So go ahead and do that. Maybe make another collection. And then if you ever wanted to delete a collection, all you have to do is right click it and you can hit delete. And there you go. And then down below here, we have the properties panel. So you can change that to anything you want, but go ahead and just keep that as properties. And this is where you have tons of different tabs, depending on what you what you're clicking on. Notice, um, you know, if I'm on the light, there's only a few tabs. If I click on the cube, there's a bunch more tabs. Maybe if I click on the camera, you know, things switch. So it's going to be dependent on what you have selected. So with the cube selected, we've got all these different tabs and they all have their own secret powers. Um, but uh, we'll go into all those uh, throughout the course. Uh, but the main one we're going we're gonna to be in is this little wrench here, and that's our modifiers tab. And that's where you can add really cool effects to your designs here. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what all these different windows and buttons do. Uh, we will be going way more into depth over the course. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to talk about setting up your preferences so that Blender is set up for your 3D printer. Let's go ahead and jump on in it. To learn more about 3D print design, visit ptt.live.